Keeping characters consistent in AI-generated images has become a big challenge, and today, I'm going to show you exactly how to solve it. Hi everyone, my name is Iman, this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to a new tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, let's get started. Do you face the challenge of your character's appearances changing across different images when using text-to-image AI tools? Are you tired of seeing your characters take on different looks in various clothes, locations, situations, and scenarios? I have good news for you. With the remarkable advancements in AI image generators, you can now maintain consistent and unified characters in your 3D animations, stories, video games, or any other visual project. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we will show you how to preserve your character's unique features across all settings and environments. The team at Black Forest Labs has done an outstanding job. To begin, I search for their name on Google. The first result leads me to their official website. I click on it. The homepage automatically redirects to a section introducing their new technology's features. To use the services offered by this tool, I first need to create an account. In the upper right corner of the page, I see the login button and click on it. Here, I can either sign up with a personal email or log in with a Google account. I choose login with Google. Since I already have an active Google account on the system, it detects it and logs me in automatically. This way, I enter the dashboard of Black Forest Labs. I then click on the home icon to return to the main page. On this page, I see a sample project using Flux.1 context which clearly demonstrates how to create a consistent and unified character. In this section, I click on the Get Started button to begin the process. Currently, this model is available in three versions, Pro, Max, and Dev, and can be accessed both through their internal platform called Playground and externally via API. As mentioned on the page, this technology is also available on other platforms such as Comfy UI, Replicate, LTX Studio, Freepik, Crea, Leonardo, and OpenArt. So if you come across Flux.1 context on any of these platforms, it's no surprise. That's because the API is also provided to these services. I click on Try in the Playground to use it on the internal platform of Black Forest Labs. Now we are inside the main interface for creating and editing images using Flux.1 context. On this page, you can observe and explore the capabilities of the model through various examples. In the first example, the word joy has been replaced with the word befell while maintaining the font and color scheme. In the second example, the phrase Flux Pro Ultra is replaced with Flux Pro Context, and the image of a frog and a panda are swapped. Yet the overall poster structure and layout are entirely preserved. You can explore the other examples on your own. Now, from the bottom left corner, I click on my account. This section shows the number of remaining credits. Upon creating an account, you are given 200 free credits by default. As you can see, I have already used some of them. In this section, there is also access to the logout option. Now make sure you are in the edit section from the left hand menu. At the top of the page, I click on the upload box, select the reference image of the main character, and upload it. In the first example, my goal is to place the reference character in a new environment. In the prompt box, I enter this request in English. My prompt is written as follows. In a mountainous landscape medium shot she wears warm winter clothing. Then, in the text panel located at the right corner, I click on the three-dot icon. Under Batch Size, I choose the number of images to generate per batch. Here I select the number two. In the Output Format section, I can choose between PNG or JPEG. After applying the settings, I click on Submit. The request is queued for processing, and after a short time, the results are displayed as two thumbnails. One thing to note is that when hovering the mouse pointer over any thumbnail, a delete option appears. I click on the first thumbnail to review the enlarged version. As you can see, this AI model performs impressively in this example. The reference character is placed in a new mountainous scene while fully maintaining her physical features. Now let's check the second image as well. In this one too, the character is wearing warm clothing in a beautiful landscape. It is clear that we now have a consistent character. At the end, by clicking the three-dot icon in the top right corner of the image, I can access the download option. I download this image.
Returning to the first image, I download that one too because I am truly satisfied with the result. Now let's move the character to a new location in the second example, this time, a beautiful park. Since the reference image is still active in the edit section, there is no need to upload it again. So I delete the previous prompt and paste the new idea in the text box. The new prompt is, in a wide shot she is sitting on a bench in a large park with autumn leaves covering the ground. To review the settings, I click on the three dot icon in the top right corner of the box. Then I click on submit. The request is processed and after a short wait, two thumbnails are displayed as output. I click on one of them to view the full-sized image. As you can see, the character is now placed in a completely new location, a vast park where autumn leaves cover the ground. She is seen sitting on a bench while all her physical traits are perfectly preserved. Despite the changes in setting, camera angle, and body posture, we are still working with a consistent character. In the third example, we want to move the character to a completely different location. First, I delete the previous prompt and paste the new text in the prompt box. The new prompt is, in a wide shot she is standing at the edge of a cliff with the vast ocean stretching out below. Now I click on the three dot icon in the top right corner of the box to review the settings once again. Everything is ready. I click on submit. The request is queued, and after a short time, two thumbnails appear. I select one of them to view the enlarged version. The result is impressive. The character is now standing on a high ledge, with a wide view of the ocean stretching to the horizon. The shoreline is visible, and natural lighting brings life to the scene. Most importantly, despite all these changes, the location, the environmental atmosphere, and the posture, the character still retains the same identity and physical features. Flux.1 context not only solves the issue of character consistency, but does so with artistic brilliance. I delete the previous prompt and enter the new idea in the text box. Here's the prompt. She is looking at clothes on a rack inside a clothing store. The request enters the processing queue, and shortly after, two thumbnail images appear. I select one of them to review the enlarged version. In this image, the character is shown in a medium shot inside the store, carefully looking at clothes. I download this image as well, because the result is truly satisfying and accurate. The ambient light and color palette give the image a more realistic feel. And here's the important part, despite the complete change in location, pose, and surrounding elements, the character's visual features remain unchanged. We are still looking at the same consistent character. Flux.1 context doesn't just create a consistent character, it does it with precision and care. In this step, we take the character to a quiet and peaceful street in the heart of a small town. I replace the previous prompt with this new one. In a wide shot, she is standing in the middle of a quiet street in a small town, with buildings on both sides. Then I click the three dot icon to review the settings one more time. After making sure everything is set, I hit submit. Soon, two small thumbnails appear. I open one of them. The image shows the character exactly as described, standing in the middle of a quiet street with buildings on both sides. The color composition and the calm mood of the scene feel very natural and pleasing. What stands out is that even with a completely different location, the character maintains her visual identity. We are still dealing with a consistent character. This time, we want to explore a more emotional atmosphere, a rainy street at night. I enter the new prompt in the text box. In a wide shot, she is walking alone on a rainy street at night, holding an umbrella and lost in thought. I click the three dot icon to review the settings, then click submit. After rendering, two outputs appear. I select one of them. The result is striking. The character walks with an umbrella through a rainy, empty street. The street lights and reflections give the scene emotional depth. And just as we expected, the character's features remain consistent throughout. Even in a poetic and different environment, the output still presents a stable character. This time, we want to place the character in an everyday home setting. I insert the new prompt. In a wide shot, she is sitting at a kitchen table, eating breakfast and checking her phone. After reviewing the settings via the three dot icon, I click submit. The output includes two thumbnails. I click on one of them. I really love this image, and I download it. The image shows the character at the breakfast table, eating and checking her phone. The natural lighting and the overall space feel intimate and relatable.
Let's review the next image. Most importantly, despite changes in setting, composition, and clothing, the character's identity remains consistent and the output is unified. This is where we understand how the Flux.1 Context AI Image Editor is truly redefining the boundaries of character creation. From the left menu, under the History section, you can access all the images you've created or edited using Flux.1 Context. Did you find this tutorial helpful? If yes, then it's time to smash that like button and share this video with your friends. I'll be uploading new tutorials soon that will absolutely amaze you. So subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Remember, AI is the future, so embrace it right now.